Hello, this is Loretta Levy, and I'm about to do a haul. We went on a weekend trip to Jacksonville just to get away for the weekend, and we went to get to see some friends. And one of our friends is a her husband is a commercial pilot, and we get to go and see them. I'm very proud of him, or uh, the wife and him. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you is that. I had fruit cake and everything sitting up, and I said, "Okay, Loretta, he'll eat on it for a while." My, I call him my honey bun. He will eat on it for a while, then he'll let it sit there. So what we have to do as women is go on, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in the refrigerator and let him eat on it. And if you want it warm, let it sit out for a while before you eat it. And then I turned around and I put a chocolate cake up there. So if he don't eat on that for a while, I'm gonna take that and cut it in half, put it in the freezer. And uh, but anyway, we went to Jacksonville and I did some shopping. Of course, it was an expensive shopping, but it was my shopping. So let me show you. I do have on my exercise clothes that I exercise while I'm walking around my house. Um. So we went to a store called Victor's, and Victor's has a store where he sells furniture, clothing, and everything. So one of their dollar, family dollar stores sold it to him, that part of the dollar store. They, they moved to another area, dollar store, family dollar moved to another area, and they sold what they had in there, everything in there, to Victor. So Victor's... You, I go in there and everything was just about a dollar. And um, I bought these for a dollar because they were seasoned croutons for a dollar. So I got two packages. Then they had this whole box of um, lunch. And he likes beef flavor. He likes to eat so he can and eat them. So he bought this. And um, it was the whole box was a dollar. And I saw me an ironboard cover, and it was a dollar. So you gotta think, this is stuff that was in Family Dollar, and this man just came in and bought it, and he bought everything down to a dollar. Now this right here was uh, $4.98. It comes with everything, I couldn't believe it. Now I went online, looked for it, and it said it was $9 in Walmart, and the cheapest you could buy it online was $7. And I was, I'm so mad at myself because I said, oh, why didn't you get four bags? Why didn't you get four? I just bought two because they were getting ready to close. And I don't like holding people up for stuff, you know, when they're closing the store. So, but I tried one out. You put your hand under there and it comes right out. And it says it's for a kitchen. But I put one in the bathroom. And it is perfect. You cannot believe that. Beat that for four dollars. Lysol and it's refillable so I can take this and fill it back up and put what I want to put in there more Lysol or more anything that I want to put in there but this is I was so mad at myself when I didn't get four he had more Lysol things this was two dollars you couldn't beat that you just couldn't beat it um then they had the two pack for two dollars and it has the batteries and everything in it. Only thing I had to do was put the fragrance in it. But the batteries came with it. Where can you be? You just can't beat that. Uh, they had the batteries already in there. So all you can do is get your fragrance and um, get it ready. But it was a two pack. So I got two of those for two dollars. And you know I got two of these, like I said. Um, these were a dollar. Got this from my grandbabies because I got two girls, so I always get something. Uh, I had these for a dollar, and this is Old Navy, and it, both of these were from, from Old Navy. So he get things from different stores. Um, they had, he loves lemonade, and this is V8 Splash Lemonade for a dollar. So he loves lemonade. So this. And I like lemonade too. Then they had the craft real mayonnaise, which was um a dollar, which was a dollar. 
So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And we got this French, the honey mustard dip sauce. It was a dollar. So I got four of those. This was 75 cents. This is a um, tape dispenser. So when I open it, all I gotta do is just go and just tape, you know, tape when I get ready. And I don't know how I'm gonna use this. This is a package opener. It says a package opener. And I guess you lift this up and the knife comes out and you can cut with it. But I thought that was cute. It's by Scott. And yeah, uh, I think this is 50 cent, 50 cent, mostly 50 cent. So that is my home. Then we went to the bakery. Um, the name had these were a box, Tasty Cakes box. Cinnamon, they were a dollar on sale. So we got the sweet maple and cinnamon roll. So I got that. And we got some other things. Um, and let me show you. Then we had some nice friends that the commercial friend pilot that I was telling you about went there and he said, Here is some. I'm trying to turn around, you can see it. Here is some all these drinks. We don't drink diet. So you all may have all of these drinks. I said my mother drinks some drinks. So we got some pink lemonade. Uh he had two cases and I said, Oh, I don't want to be free. I don't want the case. I just I just take all these diet drinks since you don't drink them. So he was they are just the nice people. And um, so they gave us all these drinks, they're all diet. These are drinks. Some of these are mixed with uh diet and non-diet. So this is two whole cases of drinks right here. And then he gave us all this, him and his wife. And so I said, you are so sweet. And I really want to thank them for that. They are such nice people in Florida. They've been our friends for a long time. So anyway, I did that little bit of shopping. And the other things, I can't find out what I did with them. But we did do a, couple, a little bit of shopping. And I wanted to tell you a story that uh, my grandbabies were over one time. And we were sitting on, on the, they were sitting at the island. And I had these on there. Now, these are not, see, you don't have to use these for the hour. They took these and put them where the drinks go. I thought that was the cutest thing. And I just noticed it. I said, I meant to put these somewhere else, but they wanted to use them on the hour. So what I was saying is, you can raise your children. And my kids, because I've raised them, we have raised them in a good way that, that, you know, their habits go with them. And now they're raising their kids in the right way. I mean, I can take them to the store and they'll be right there with me. I mean, all I gotta do is say, I'm calling your mom. If I say that, they, it's like a sergeant, you know what I mean? They are in line, don't call my mom. And both of them have, all three of them have a cell phone. One of them is just five, so she don't have a cell phone. And they have their own little cell phone now. And so they can easily, you know, 10 years old, and they can just easily call their mom, say, Mom, I'm ready to go home, whatever. No, they want to stay with their nana. And uh, they just love to be here. But I'm just telling you, it's the way you raise your kids and continue to raise them right, and it will go along and pass along with the next, with the next generation. So what we need to do is just start keep working on our kids, praying for them, um, because all the way down to Jacksonville, all I can think about is the kids in Florida and what happened to them and my grandkids' age. And it was just so sad for a, I don't know if the little girl was 12 or 14 years old, to be shot nine times was horrible. And I don't know, we, we, we need to help our kids. We need to help everybody to train our kids and do the right thing in life. If, if you see they have a problem, if I see my grandkids have a problem, I'm stepping aside. I'm gonna help out. I'm gonna help my kids and my grandkids. Even though my daughter is a counselor, I'm gonna help out 
as much as I can. Because, I, like I told you, if you don't want to talk to your mom, call me on your cell phone. I'm going to talk to you if you're having a problem. Um, but I know I, I just... I just feel like we need to get together and keep in touch with our kids. See what they're doing. Go to the school. Um, just, just keep in touch with your kids. That's all you got to do. Don't just let them go in the street and just let them wander off and go. To, you think they're going to a friend's house. They may not be going to a friend's house. They might be going to a game's house. So keep up with your kids and talk to them. And you got to live right in order for them to live right. You have to live right in order for them to live right. I'm going to say it a third time. You got to live right in order for them to live right. So if they hear a bunch of cursing and fuss and all this stuff going on, guess what they're going to do? Go in the street at the same way and at the same way at school. They're going to treat people in the street the same way. We got to keep in touch with our kids. So for that father that went through that with his child, my heart is with him. And I and I notice he's still continuing to fight and say what he wants to say as far as his word is concerned. You got to do it. I don't think we need to take away guns. I'm not giving him my gun. We don't need to take away guns. We need to have more counseling for drugs. Uh, smoking, anything that these kids need. He could have been picked on in school because you know we have bullying going on. And he just straight away, he went the wrong way. He lost the one he loved. So we have got to help people. Even though he lost the one he loved, somebody should have helped him, helped him go the right way. Some kind of way he went the wrong way and that happened. So the only thing I can say is that we need to show more love. We need to show. If if I see a child out there and they don't have enough money to buy something, I'm going to give it to them if I have. Lord knows I will. So we need to show more love. If you, and you don't have to say something to somebody else's child, but just show more love. And you could whisper to them, we love you. Do the right thing. Watch what you say. Um, but anyway, this is about living. And we need to work together and handle this in a better way. Because now it's too late to take away guns. It's too late. Nobody's going to give their guns now. But we need to outlaw. Out, out, out law. I don't know that much about guns. But we need to outlaw the ones that you know, the big rifle, the gu big guns, they need to be outlawed. Like he said, 21, yeah. Okay? Well, we need something because we're all like Sharon says, you're so fabulous. We're in a bubble. And we shouldn't have to be like that in our house. We're in a bubble. Sitting up here with a gun in case somebody come in here on us. We're in a bubble. We're living a life in a bubble. And, and I think Diva Design saying that we need to talk to our kids. She's so right. And, and Sharon's so fabulous. We shouldn't be living in a bubble. But we are. The world has changed. So now we got to be stronger and continue to go on. I'm not going to say I'm not going to get a license for a gun. Because it's a possibility I might if things get bad. Enough. But anyway, we got to show more love. This is Loretta Living. You have a great day. And thanks for joining me.